Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I bring you a tag video. I was tagged by Scott from The Centurion to show you my fragrances that don't ever let me down. So if you are curious to see what fragrances are like my ride or die, you know, I can spray them on and I won't regret it ever, then please keep on watching. But first, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Maite. I review fragrances and products. I love all things that smell good. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up and click the little notification bell so you can be notified anytime I upload a new video. I upload every Monday or Wednesday at four. So these fragrances are ones that I love all the time. Doesn't matter if it's hot, if it's cold, if it's humid, if it's dark, if it's light, if... I'm happy if I'm sad, it doesn't matter. I love them all the time. I spray them on and I know I'm gonna smell good 100% of the time. So I chose eight fragrances that don't ever let me down. And the first one is Chris Rusak 33. This is my vetiver love, my favorite vetiver um, that I've smelled so far. It is um, smoky and rich and pungent and just so unique and fantastic it literally lasts 24 hours so you really have to commit um but i know when i put it on i'm gonna smell amazing all day currently uh 33 is not available but it is coming back i believe in the beginning of next year so be on the lookout for that but the notes on 33 are haitian vetiver oris angelica root there's iris butter and not iris oris butter and oris resinoid which brings facets of paprika cocoa powder and then fennel, cypriol, and hyoscyamum, which is an anabolic tincture, but I don't get too much anabolic. I think it gives it that um, kind of funky, pungent um, vibe that it has, but really when it mixes with your skin, it's just smoky and earthy and rich and a little bit bright in the opening, and it's just beautiful. It's, oh, yes. It is, it, it projects, it lasts, it is amazing, and it never ever lets me down. That's Chris Rusak, 33. Next up, Anubis by Papillon Perfumes. Mm. Leather, florals, sexy, warm, rich, smoky, it's everything. It never lets me down. Um, I love the Immortel in here. I love the Jasmine. I love that soft suede. Um, there's myrrh, there's saffron. So there's like this soft kind of spice. It's sweet. It's so good, you guys. So, so good. And it's something that I know when I put on, I smell amazing. It's gonna last all day. It's not gonna let me down as far as scent or performance. So that is Anubis by Papillon Perfume. Next up, my skanky floral love. This is Coco, the original Coco, Eau de Parfum by Chanel. I mean, there's really nothing bad to say about Coco. It's rich it's dark it's floral but not heavy there's jasmine there's rose there's that signature chanel kind of a little bit of not powder but yeah that kind of chanel powderiness that chanel is known for it's just elegant elegance in a bottle you smell like confidence and like you're in charge i love this one for the office i think the eau de toilette is um less sweet more uh balsamic -y, which is a little bit harsher than this one this one's a little bit the eau de parfum is smoother so and yeah coco she never lets me down next up tower perfumes au cor du desert my dry amber love it's dry it's resinous it's earthy woody smoky it's everything, everything, um, warm, cozy, perfect for the cold weather, but I also wear it in the hot weather. I don't think, um, 
that it's cloying at all because the amber is not too sweet. It's balanced perfectly with the patchouli and the coriander. It's just stunning. It's it's masterpiece worthy fragrance. Um, I have nothing bad to say and I know when I put it on, it's gonna scent my skin all day. It's gonna leave this intoxicating trail and I'll never regret putting it on. So yeah, that is Andy Towers. Ocor du Desert. Next up, Mon Oasis by Motif Olfactive. Rich, sweet, smoky, jasmine, musky. Ugh, amazing. Earthy. There's yuzu and vetiver and oak moss and jasmine and just, it's just fantastically blended. Um, if I could have a signature scent, this would definitely be one. <laughs> I know I probably can't pick one signature scent, but this would be one of my signature scents. Let's say I needed to pick five. I probably need like five because like I would want to change them up depending on like my mood or something, right? I don't know. How could somebody just have one scent? I guess I'm just weird. But Mon Oasis never, ever, ever lets me down. Ever. Love it. Next up, Timbuktu by Le Artisan Perfumer. This is the original formulation. Oh, with the gold cap. Mango, but not like juicy, sweet mango. This is unripe, green mango. Pungent, indolic, almost a little funky. Um, yeah, there's vetiver. There's smoke from that incense there's amazingness <sighs> yeah brilliant it's a brilliant fragrance um i have a backup the backup is worthy of a backup that's how good it is um but i don't reach for this one as often because i'm afraid to run out of it <laughs> but i would i would wear it all the time it's fantastic when i put it on i'm like oh my god what is that? Is that me? Yeah, that's me. I smell great. So another one that doesn't ever let me down. That is Timbuktu by Le Artisan Perfumer. Next up on my list of perfumes that never let me down. This is the vintage, you guys, vintage, not the new formulation, which is just horrendous what they've done. The vintage Miss Dior Eau de Toilette by Christian Dior. If you have not smelled this, I would try to find some, seriously. It is a dirty floral, but also in the opening, there's this like fresh, almost soapy quality. Um, it's light, but potent at the same time. Um, there's oak moss in here. Um, there is amber. It's, oh, mm. I mean, I'm, I can't, describe how amazing this is. It's timeless, it's classic. The vintage formulation is unlike anything I have smelled. It, I could throw it on whenever and I know I smell amazing. Um, I actually don't mind this splash bottle. I think it's beautiful. The new formulation I think is much more mass appealing. They made it to please the masses in the women's category. So this doesn't, it's not mass appealing. It is not your typical feminine women's fragrance. I would say this is actually unisex. Um, I know it's called Miss Dior, but I don't think that classifies it as a women's perfume. Um, it's amazing. I think it would smell fantastic on a man. I think it would smell actually very sexy on a man. Um, there's enough like rich darkness. Mm, yeah, it's it's divine, you guys. It really is. Um, mine is from the 70s, I believe. 70s or early 80s. Um, I actually have a backup coming, and the backup is worth a backup. That's how amazing it is. I don't ever want to run out. Not the longest lasting, but it does linger, and I don't mind reapplying it. The notes on the vintage original Monsieur Eau de Toilette are gardenia, galbanum, clary sage, and aldehydes. Jasmine, Rose, Neroli, Narcissus, Iris, Islet, Lily of the Valley, Patchouli, Cystus Labdanum, Oak Moss, Ambergris, Sandalwood, Vetiver, and 
leather. What they did, I think, to the new formulation is just tone down the dirty quality, which I think is what makes it special. So if um, you've tried Miss Dior, the new formulation, and you didn't like it, try the vintage because it's nothing like it. It's not, um, it's not crowd pleasing. It is a little animalic. It's warm. It's sensual. Um, it's floral, but not overly floral, not overly feminine. Um, it's not obnoxious. It's just perfect. Perfect. And it never lets me down. That's Miss Dior Eau de Toilette by Christian Dior. Vintage. Vintage. Another vintage love that never lets me down. This is Opium uh, Eau de Toilette by Yves Saint Laurent. Um, this one's from the 80s. Another fragrance that they've absolutely massacred when they reformulated it. Um, I know because I do have the new formulation, which this is the Eau de Parfum. This is the Eau de Toilette. But this Eau de Toilette vintage smells more concentrated than this Eau de Parfum new formulation. Um, I smell a lot of synthetic um, ingredients in the new formulation. It's not as warm. It's not as inviting. It's not as alluring. Um, it's nice, but the dry down is, is nothing compared to the vintage opium dry down, which is darker, richer, more ambery. Um, it doesn't have that harsh quality of the new formulation. It's smooth. Um, and it's just, sexy. It's so, so sexy. Um, there is aldehydes, there is, you know, florals, but they're dark florals and there's incense. There's this like smoky kind of vibe that it has that I actually don't detect as much in the new formulation. I think that it's been lost. There's a lot of notes listed, but I think what makes it really special is the castorium um, and the musk, which I think the new formulation lacks. Um, I think the castorium gives it that body and that kind of dirty, warm um, vibe. It's amazing. Okay, the notes, and this is a long list. Cloves, pepper, coriander, West Indian Bay, plum, jasmine, mandarin, orange, bergamot, and citruses. That's the top notes. The middle notes, carnation, cinnamon, sandalwood, patchouli, orris root, rose, peach, and lily of the valley. And then the base notes, incense, myrrh, sandalwood, tulu balsam, amber, opopanox, benzoin, labdanum, vanilla, musk, castorium, cedar, vetiver, and coconut. Um, Yeah, I don't pick up much coconut, but all those base notes I feel like are lost or have been totally lost in the new formulation and they're just fabulous in this vintage. So opium eau de toilette vintage never lets me down. Should I throw in another one? Why not? Mitsoko eau de parfum. This is also a vintage formulation. Mine is from the 90s. Yeah you guys. My go-to fruity sheep, um, it's just delicious. It's warm, rich, intoxicating. Um, the peach in here is delicious. It's sweet. It's smoky. It's heavy. Another one that's signature scent worthy. Another one that I can wear whenever, wherever. I can always count on Mitsoko. Yep, I can. So that was a bonus. I couldn't leave it out. I love it so much. Uh, this is Mitsoko by Guerlain. All right, that's it. Those are my perfumes that never, ever let me down. Thank you to Scott from The Centurion for tagging me. I will leave his channel link down below. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and click the little notification bell so you can be notified anytime I upload a new video. I upload every Monday or Wednesday at four. Have a great one, you guys. Mwah. Damn, I can't remember where this formulation was from. Was it the 70s? Was it the 60s? I don't remember.
Ugh. Disgusting. M&M's. Halloween candy. Mm. <gasps> That's what happens when your kids go trick-or-treating. You end up eating all the Halloween candy. Well, at least I do. I don't know about you guys, but I'm like, no, you guys can't eat that. You guys, it's too sweet. You, you can't eat it. But mommy can. 